Here we go. The league's for collection log. What the? What did I get in the collection log? I don't even. I don't even know. We'll take it. All right. Let's get started with Trailblazer Reloaded. We're in the tutorial. I'm so excited for this. I'm just gonna be playing this one for fun. I'm not worrying too much about this or that or what efficient regions to pick. I'm just gonna pick what I think will be fun, and we're gonna try and get as many points as we can so that we can buy all the rewards and throw them in our POH. Oh, we have an area to pick. We can unlock Karamja. How exciting! That's just for free right there. And now for the hardest decision of my entire life. I've been going over this for like the past week. Trying Trying to figure out what to pick i've been between production prodigy and trickster and i'm still not a hundred percent sure what i want to get but i think i am going to go for production prodigy this time because of that plus 12 level boost that'll help me get so many tasks out of the way early and it means i don't have to waste time doing things like smithing and garbage like that plus now we get double drop rate like five times xp all clues drop as scroll boxes no run energy depletion it's great i love it so we'll get production prodigy as our first one if i regret this in 20 minutes you know, it is what it is. Always start the league off by pickpocketing the man and by turning off Entity Hider. Or turning on Entity Hider, rather, because, oh my god, this is crazy. First level up of the league. Level 2 thieving. Let's go. What a gaming moment. Alright, quit punching me in the face, man. I just need one more coin pouch, please. There we go. Open 28 coin pouches at once. Should be another task. God, I, I, I miss getting points and tasks. This is just so fun. And there's a goblin dead. Mod Flippy would be so proud. Oh, this is going to be our first use out of Production Master. Watch this. Spin the balls of wool. Oh, that's so good. And 337 craft. We go straight up to 4 crafting. But we're actually 16 crafting out of things we can do. I figured I'd just do Sheep Shearer first. That is a really easy quest and it's a task i think so i think there's a task for dancing in a graveyard is this true let's see we're dancing in a graveyard we got 10 points <laughs> all right here you go sir i have 20 balls of wool on me do you get multiplied rewards from quests i think you do 750 yeah that's a little bit more than normal there's sheep shear and we're all the way up to nine crafting wow yeah you know, i also want to know who came up with this task cry in a wheat field who hurt you man so many tasks here. Uh, we got a mark of grace. We finished the rooftop course. We completed the drain or course. And I think I'm going to do this for 10 laps because it's another task for doing 10 laps. Can you imagine it? Oh, that was a medium task for completing 10 laps of the drain or course. Wait, is there also one for doing 10? of? No, nah, it's just 10 of drain or. I thought there might also be one for 10 rooftop laps, but I think it's for 50. But yeah, look at those points. We're already at 270. All right, we're going to finish the toughest quest in the game. Cook's assistant. Get us 1,500 cooking XP to up to 11 cooking. And if we don't burn any of the shrimp, we get... Okay, we... Wow! We burned four out of five. That, that's got to be unlucky or something. But hey, I'm about to do the saddest thing in the world. I'm going to give Bob all of my money so I can buy a steel axe. And I think... Uh, oh gosh, was it to equip a steel axe? I hope it wasn't to equip a steel axe. I think it was just to chop a tree with a steel axe. So that should be a task. So we're going to nab 15 wood cutting here real quick. And I just wanted to show off if I can chop this normal tree in a reasonable amount of time. The nice thing about uh, Production Prodigy, we're already level 15 fletching technically through that boost. So I should actually be able to already fletch oak logs into arrow shafts which is super nice that'll make fletching leveling so much easier because this skill is kind of a pain at early levels hey we got our first level 30 and let's also fletch these into oak stocks to get a task for fletching 25 oak stocks which is awesome because we didn't even have the level to fletch a single oak stock while we got this task if you don't do this task, you are a monster. Pet that poor stray dog in Varrock. Give him the love that he's needed for years. Oh, this XP drop's gonna be so juicy. We finished the natural uh, museum history quiz thing. 5,000 XP in Slayer and Hunter. Straight to level 20. <laughs> no, I died trying to go through the stronghold of security. No. Oh, God, I should have brought more food, so... uh. Is all my stuff on the ground there? Yep, in a gravestone. Okay. Okay, hear me out. There is a reason for getting these collection log slots. I'm not doing collection leagues again where I try to get as many collection log slots as I can. There are actually tasks for reaching certain collection log milestones. I swear I'm not insane. Plus, look at the drip. Oh my god. Oh god, looting my gravestone is going to be so hard. I got to get in here while everyone else is getting attacked and just pray to god that I can get everything that I need out of here. Oh no. How much stuff did I have? Oh, no. Okay, I just got so lucky. I got hit twice by a table pawn, and it hit me one and then zero. Why couldn't I have had that luck earlier, man? All right, there's the 10K from the Stronghold of Security, but maybe we should go downstairs to try to get the fancy boots because that is a task. Oh, yeah, no, I do want to die, actually. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm just hoping that basically I can follow behind these people and they can tank all the hits. Let's go. Let's go ahead and acquire the fancy boots because I'm not a gremlin. Uh, wow, that was quick. I didn't actually know it would be that quick. And then I think if I wear them, 
Task completed. So I've done some thinking about what relic I'm going to get. Oh, this rat. Are you kidding me? Solo mission. Uh, anyways, I've been doing some thoughts about uh, which one I want to get. I think it's going to be Fairy's Flight for sure. I can teleport to any fairy ring, which is decent. Spirit Tree is pretty okay. But the most important thing is Tool Leprechauns. You can teleport to so many places through Tool Leprechauns. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm this. Plus, the thing that's really nice about the areas I'm choosing is it's not going to be that hard to get around them anyways. And most of the normal spell book will have uh, spells to teleport to most of the places I want to go anyways. So it's not that big of a deal. And apparently you need to be at a bank to choose your relic, so okay. Alright, here we go. Fairy's Flight. Let's select this. Also look at the passive. We go from 5 times to 8 times XP. So this is going to be a huge boost just right off the bat. And we'll get our cool teleport item, the Fairy Mushroom. Oh, it's so cute. Now we need uh, how many more points to our next relic? 690? That's actually not that bad, and only 15 tasks till the next area. I'm so excited. This is so fun so far. I'm glad they went back to area restriction. Oh my god, I love this so much. Look at it. It's just going to cook the whole inventory, and hopefully five in a row. Yeah, successfully cooked five pieces of food. Wait, I thought it was cook five in a row without burning one. Maybe they're both tasks? No? Going to smith a bronze full helm and a bronze plate skirt, which I will be able to do thanks to my relic choice. Where's the plate skirt? There we go. Two nice and easy tasks done. And we just finished the Daddy's Home quest, which got us a POH, which is a uh, task. And then we also got to 24 construction just from that, which is pretty nice. Unfortunately, it did burn through half of our cash stack, but you know, it is what it is. So apparently it takes four balls of wool to have Ned make you some rope. I was so confused. I've spent like the past two minutes trying to figure this out. And then I just read the dialogue. All right, I have some balls of wool. Could you make me some? And boom, there is 10 points. Also, we have completed enough tasks to unlock a new area. And this is so hard for me because I don't know which area I want to do first. The areas I'm doing are Desert, Asgarnia, and Kandarin. And I just don't know which one to do first. I was looking through the tasks and they all seem really rough for tasks. So I guess it's just a question of whatever sounds the most fun at the start. And I think that's either Asgarnia or Kandarin. It's going to take me like 10 minutes to decide though. Well, first up here is 30 agility because I decided to run the train or course while thinking. And second up, I think I am ready to make my decision. And the first unlock area I'm going for is Kandarin. It seems like it's going to be the most chill for tasks for me early on. And that's really what I need right now. Obviously, I'm not going straight to God Wars Dungeon with these stats. But let's go ahead. Let's unlock Kandarin. Yes. I know, I know it's a final decision. Let's see the cool animation. We're reading a piece of paper and getting stretched out really far. I looked kind of thick there for a moment. But there we go. We got Kandarin unlocked and now we can do a bunch of tasks there. And yeah, how many more tasks? Oh, complete rune mysteries. 40 points. Easy. We have to do 78 tasks until we can unlock the next area. So we got to get grinding. And there's Gertrude's cat done. Plus 12,000 cooking XP. We got a stew. We got a cute little cat, and this cat is going to help us, of course. We are going to need to grow it, but right now I don't have a lot of raw fish, so we're going to leave it in the bank. Well, I've just spent the past few minutes running around trying to find a guard to attack, but every single guard is being mass-thieved by people because of the stupid trickster relic, so I actually just cannot get that task right now. Every single guard is occupied. <laughs> God, this relic here is so good, this fairy mushroom. I could teleport straight to Fossil Island, either straight to the giant seaweed or to the mahogany patch here. Oh my gosh, I have never not regretted getting a relic more. Like seriously, if you picked the other one, I'm so sorry. Oh boy, sea slug done and we just got to 44 fishing. That's pretty nice, and there's our first level 40. That is, uh, that is some easy points right there. There's a Tower of Life quest completed. 40 points, and this will pay off a lot in the future because there's like four tasks down here, all for just making these creatures down here and defeating them, which is super easy, plus easy collection log slots down here to work towards the collection log tasks, so not bad. Oh, a dragon imp out in the wild. I'll get you one day, you beautiful little red feller. Another quest done fishing contest. Here you go, dwarf man. How much XP do we get? 19,000 fishing XP. We're already almost 50 fishing. That's pretty nice. And uh, I feel like it's better to get most of these quests knocked out early just because I'm going to end up doing them for points anyways. Might as well do it early when I need it the most. I've always loved the end of this quest. You just, <laughs> you just start partying and dancing. There's balloons everywhere. It's honestly one of the best endings to any quest in RuneScape history. And I wish they'd release more goofy quests like this just randomly in the middle of the month. Just be like, all right, here's a new quest where you go, I don't know, fish up a gun. You know, it's whatever. It is what it is. And it's pretty fun. And two extra little tasks we can do thanks to our production prodigy, Fletch and Willow Shortbow and Fletch and Oak Shortbow. 
Very nice. Two big medium tasks, which is 80 points. Achieve our first level 50 for 50 wood cutting and chop 100 willow logs. And then we're about to get the burn 100 willow logs one here in a second as well, which is another 40 points, which means we're only going to be 60 away from our next relic. And I'm so excited for this next relic. Just a little tip. I really should have done this task earlier, but you can actually buy potato seeds from the Draenor market and then you can buy compost from any uh, farming person around the patches. So you can plant the potato seeds and then use the two composts to pay to protect the crops. That's a very easy 20 points. And after completing the hardest agility course in the game by a long shot, in my humble opinion, we are going to get the last 10 points we need. And boom, there we go. We have enough to get our tier three relic. So let's head to the bank and nab that. I'm so excited for this one. So the choices we have are between Banker's Note and Fire Sale. Banker's Note basically gives you an item that lets you note and unnote anything that you want in your inventory so it's insanely useful it is good and it's especially good for newer players that want to try out end game content and they want to have like infinite brews to just face tank their way through it to learn it it's pretty good for that it's also pretty good for people who didn't pick endless harvest because you can actually bank all of your skilling supplies while you're gathering them although i feel like with production prodigy i don't really need that and i'm also pretty decent at most pvm in the game so i just feel like bankers know isn't that great for me i'm gonna go with fire sale all items in shops around Gelenor that use coins as currency are free of charge. And all items purchased from shops can be noted, provided the item can be noted, of course. So basically, I can buy infinite of whatever I want. It will be instantly noted, so I could just buy as much as I want. Coins are completely useless for shops. Obviously, you still need them for things like buying rooms while doing construction and, of course, making planks at the plank maker and stuff like that. But you can actually use this relic here to get infinite GP as well, which I'll explain once we get there. But, yeah, let's do it. Let's select this relic. I'm really, really excited for this one. So excited that I didn't even look at the passive effects. And we also get the... Oh, this is the passive effect. There we go. We have the Crystal of Memories, which is just last recall. So if I teleport and then I click the crystal memories, I'll go right back to where I teleported from. So just an example of what this will look like. Basically, I can go up to Gullick. God, I love this guy's name too, Gullick. And as you can see, he sells a bunch of arrow tips, which you can use to make yourself some arrows and get a lot of really good fletching XP. So let's just left click these. Swap left click to buy 50. Oh, I can do this. And then I can just click here and I can just buy as many arrow tips of every variety as I want, which will make leveling fletching so easy as I can, you know, fletch arrow tips while running around the game doing whatever it is I'm doing. And uh, yeah, that means that a lot of skills have actually turned into buyables. And you're going to see me get a lot of easy 99s through this. Now, the method I was saying to get infinite gold is there are shops such as the one in Edgeville that sell rune plate bodies. Well, look at this. I could simply toggle noted items. Uh, no, I want to receive noted items, and I can just go, oh, I'll take uh, 50 adamant two-handers. Obviously, the shop only has one, so I have to buy one at a time, but look at this. I could just buy as many of these as I want, and then I could cast high alk on them, which is awesome. Which, speaking of alking, running out of runes is a thing of the past, and I'm so excited about it. Oh, no, I need some fire runes. Okay, let's shift click this to buy 10. Look at the fire runes stacking up in my inventory. This is absolutely ridiculous. That also means I'll be able to get infinite chaos runes, which means I'll always be able to be casting really good spells. I mean, look at this. I could actually get a max stack of these if i wanted to do something stupid like that but yeah this relic is just so fun like i'm not i'm not even upset even if in the late game it turns out to be quite useless and bankers note is awesome i mean just the happiness i'm getting right now from just getting infinite items it's just too fun now i think it's the perfect time to try to get myself a rune axe from these tree spirits the higher your combat level the more health these things actually have so right now while i'm a low combat level it's the perfect time to kill them i think it's a one in 35 to get the rune axe and i'm pretty sure this is one of the only ways i'm going to actually be able to get a rune axe in all of my areas i don't really have an actual axe shop besides bobs and he only sells up to steel so let's hope we get lucky and we don't spend hours here at the tree spirits okay we actually just got it in like three kills all right thank you game thank you very much and now i'm not too worried about leveling up my combat which means we can go do some of the fun quests in the gnome area that give you like god i don't even know what my attack and strength they're going to get to from doing fight arena and waterfall but I'm excited to find out. Chopping a tree with a rune axe is a 40 point task. Not too bad. Oh, oh, and so is using a teleport spell with a law rune. Another 40 points. These fights go by so much faster. Since I'm getting so many level ups, I'm already up to using earth bolt with magic. And uh, just does so much more damage. Just finishing up fight arena. And also we got the 35 mage. So we can use fire bolt, which is just nuts. Let's see how much XP I get from this quest. 97,000 attack. And I forgot about the thieving, actually. 
We got all the way up to level 49 attack, 37 thieving, which is great, because I was actually going to grind out 40 thieving for a couple tasks anyways, and uh, over 500 total. Very nice. We just got two more easy tasks done. And I've got a shop right here that sells feather packs. Let's, oh, we've already got it set to 50. Let's see. Let's show, oh my gosh. Yeah, all the feathers we're ever going to need for the entire league right here already, and I've just noticed as well, we need fly fishing rod. I think we've already got a harpoon. We need a lobster pot. I guess I'll just buy some bait packs. There's probably some tasks for that. That. And then I actually want to buy some raw sardines for a couple reasons. One, if I have a bunch of these, I might be able to spam some cooking levels really quickly. And I need these to feed my pet cat to grow it into a full-grown cat. So yeah, there we go. That's a pretty good amount of food. But after a little disaster with my power going out, we now have 40 thieving, which means I can pickpocket a guard. Please work first try. Of course it didn't. Oh, the trickster players are pointing and laughing at me. Please don't write a comment bullying me because I didn't pick trickster. Okay, come on. <laughs> there we go. Pickpocket a guard. Get out of here, Jekyll. And I can pickpocket a master farmer. Yeah, I know. I should have picked trickster. No need to keep reminding me, game. Come on, please. Second try, Shirley. There we go, another 40 points. Oh my god, I love this fairy mushroom so much. It lets me just teleport straight to the middle of Tree Gnome Village. I never have to go through the stinking maze. I just get to teleport everywhere for these quests. It's actually so good, and especially now that I have last recall, if there's an area that's really out of the way for quests, I can just, boom, instant teleport back. Here comes Waterfall Quest. Oh my god, 110,000 XP in attack and strength, getting us up to over 50 in each oh my god that's so good so we could probably work on some of the tasks that require you to kill things now and to equip certain types of weapons so uh yeah we also got two gold bars and 40 mithril seeds no way i think this is two tasks yep snare a bird and then catch a crimson swift very nice i think there were some tasks for equipping different tiers of swords so let's just go through and check it yeah there's one for mithril and adamant that's some easy points also catching a kebit so we've just gotten a bunch of random hunter tasks and up to 35 and the leveling so fast i think pretty soon i'm just gonna start leveling up some skills to go for some random tasks because it is just insane how quick you plow through these i also forgot to equip the rune axe there's equip a rune weapon 40 more points it's just easy things to forget that you'll realize you have tasks for and it's so nice to just get them out of nowhere catching a raw salmon on karamja is a medium task and i think you just automatically get shiloh village done when you unlock karamja because i had it done so uh Easiest medium task in the game, probably. And since Monkey Madness 2 is auto-completed, I should be able to head right over here by the Demonic Gorilla, search this crate here, and get the best item in all of Old School RuneScape. That's right, the monkey, and you can wear him on your back, and that is a medium task. 40 points for equipping Prime Fashion. If I miss this while standing right in front of the gold, let's go! We did it! 40 points and everyone's cheering for me. I'm so amazing. Did you see that? We got like 40 XP in ranged and agility. And uh, that's with the boosted XP rates. So uh, a few more massive benefits of having Monkey Madness 2 done. One, I can come here and chop teak trees, which is obviously really good woodcutting XP. It'll be great fire making XP. But now that I have teak logs, I can actually do tick manipulation for skilling now, which speeds it up by just a ridiculous ridiculous amount so i'm gonna gather a couple of these and we'll probably head back and go for the 50 salmon fished task because with the tick manip it is gonna be so fast and finally the thing i'm most excited about where's the dude that sells scimitars daga there you are my friend so i hope you don't mind but what i'm actually going to do my man is i'm going to buy about 10,000 dragon scimitars from you i really hope that that's all right one because i need one for training melee and to equip for a task Two, because these things high alk for, I think, like 60k each. And, uh, you know, so I'm just going to cast low alchemy and high alchemy on these so we have enough gold to do basically everything that we need for the rest of leagues. Oh my god, look at this XP for making mithril arrows. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. I'm just plowing through the fletching levels. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I actually didn't have high enough fletching to make a teak stock yet. And uh, now that I'm doing this, I'm just kind of addicted to watching the XP roll in. I mean, those XP drops are just enchanting. Also, since we just hit 600 total pretty recently, I thought I'd mention that the Crystal of Memories, basically last recall, starts off with a six minute cooldown, but every 300 total levels you get, it actually reduces the cooldown by one minute. So since we hit 600 total, it is now down to four minutes. And when you hit 1800 total, it is literally a zero second just like instantly you could just use it teleport to a bank last recall back to where you're at and that is obviously the goal but uh for now 
Four minutes, not so bad. Something else I didn't know about three ticking until recently was that you actually get a double roll at the end of your uh, fishing cycle. So here when I boom right there, I actually got two rolls for the fish. Now that doesn't mean that you can catch it twice, but uh, it does mean that you are way more likely to catch a fish. So actually three ticking is even more beneficial at lower levels when your catch rate is not that good. And then I'm just gonna put a fire right down next to the fishing spot. And then I can instantly just cook my entire inventories of fish here for an insane amount of XP, drop them and get right back to fishing. And there it is, catch 50 salmon, 40 points added to our collection. And uh, the nice thing about Production Master also is that there is a chance every time I cook something, it just makes 25% extra and goes to the bank so look at that i don't even have to actually bank these if i ever need these fish i will get a pretty decent amount just from cooking and then getting that so i think i'm going to stay here till 58 fishing so that i can do barbarian fishing i think it'd be a pretty good idea for me to actually do that now it'll level up my strength and agility a little bit i don't want to spend time doing the early level agility courses because agility doesn't even help you in the league it's literally just for tasks and then maybe like some shortcuts later on achievement diaries and such so i want to spend as little time as possible actually training that skill oh and we just got 50 eight uh fishing which is great we also got 59 cooking along the way which is nice so now any of the afk fishing or tick minute fishing i definitely didn't accidentally make my teak log into a teak stock while typing uh will be at barbarian fishing so we can get the free agility and strength xp as well but yeah this was a nice chill little grind and we can cook fish up to level 71 now because the production prodigy relic's just so stupid i love it oh i was barely paying attention achieve your first level 60 that is a hard task that was 80 points for that very nice we just hit 60 fishing obviously i think i'm gonna keep going to at least 62 because there is another good task for fishing a monkfish and i'm pretty sure swan swan song is auto completed so that'll be some more easy points and there is catch a monkfish it's only 40 points that's okay 40 points is still pretty good and this is a random task that it's like so easy to get you just buy some pineapples from the charter crew members fill that up and then we get a bucket of super compost that's 40 points you can do that within like the first half hour of the league we're getting dangerously close to our next relic and also until the next area so i'm just gonna go knock out as many super simple tasks as i can think of starting off with killing this stupid dark wizard that's so annoying i hate these guys you know everyone got bullied by them early on in their runescape career so we're just gonna end this fool every now and then you just need to scroll through the task list and you'll realize there are so many super simple tasks that you just haven't done yet like this one kill a greater demon on karamja oh that's also a combat achievement which gets you the task for a combat achievement which is a medium so that's 50 points defeat a moss giant enter the brimhaven dungeon that's like four or five tasks basically that i could have just done instantly a long time ago so this fight is uh it's a lot easier when you have good magic spells and there is vampire slayer completed which is oh it's only 10 points oh I thought it was 40. And I just tick manipulated to steal the tree from all these noobs. I'm a horrible person. There's our last task to enter tier four, uh, which is to chop a log from a potato tree. It's such, such a weird task. I'm not going to ask any questions, but we now have access to the tier four relics. Also, I think that if we just cast like one spell at a goblin, we should get the 41 magic, which means we can cast wind blast, which will get us another 40 points. Anyways, let's head to a bank and unlock our tier four relic. I'm so excited for this it is not even funny so the last league the build i went with was melee and i think the league before that i also went melee and so this time i am taking the archer's embrace i'm going full on ranged build baby especially because of how awesome it's going to be using a uh, rune crossbow and shooting it at two tick attack speed that's as fast as the blowpipe shoots in the main game by the way not only does it speed up your shots with ranged you save 90 percent of your ammo if you have an avis device or a max cape you get 98 percent save it works on chinchampas which is awesome enchanted bolts have a double boosted chance to proc and there's a 10 percent chance that your weapon will fire an extra projectile which is a double hit and that second projectile also has a chance to be a bolt proc so when you're shooting ruby bolts you could do 200 damage in one attack keep in mind you attack every two ticks so it's actually nuts plus your ranged accuracy is doubled which means that you're just more likely to hit targets that have higher ranged defense so i should be able to use ranged against most creatures as for the passive effects drop rates are true tripled so anything i'm killing that has a rare drop that's listed in the uh, area rare drops tripled zenite shards those are one in a hundred now which means i could viably farm those pretty soon actually uh bigger and badder slayer unlock is automatically unlocked slayer points are multiplied by five from tasks and you aren't 
limited to a minimum of 10 tasks, so I get points on my first task. And superior spawn at a rate of 1 in 50. So Slayer is going to be so fun. Here we go. Let's unlock our range to Relic. I'm so excited to actually be able to start doing combat in the league. I've been waiting for this moment. And now how many points do we need for the next tier of Relic? Because there are 8 tiers of Relics this time around. You, we need uh, about 2,000. So all the points that we've gotten so far... We need to do it again to get the next tier of Relic, but that's okay. Let's start training some range soon. Oh, this is the first forestry event I've ever seen, and I think I'm going to get a task here. Yep, chop some rising roots, and I actually do need uh, this anima infused bark here for some other stuff. So I'm going to tick manipulate this while I'm here, not to mention the insane uh, woodcutting XP that you get over 500 per anima infused bark, and there's obviously a 100% success chance. So uh, yeah, these forestry events have got to be decently rare because not a lot of people are woodcutting, but maybe we'll get a clan chat going and we'll have everyone meet up to woodcut and increase the chances of seeing these because there are a couple tasks associated with this stuff so i'm doing a weird task and that is to do a task for the wise old man he asked me to get him 15 cooked meat and so we're going to be killing cows and look at this yeah i'm shooting my short bow like a blowpipe and uh, you want to put it on accurate actually because rapid is a three tick attack accurate is a four tick attack both of them get changed to two tick and accurate just ups your range level so you can hit higher and you're more accurate obviously so it's pretty nice yeah we are going to level up like crazy actually i think i can already move up to an oak short bow and our damage is just going to be nuts i bet if we're here for like 10 minutes we'll already be almost 40 ranged so i don't think i've ever done this before but we are going to churn some butter oh yes we're churning we're making butter this is how long does this take by the way oh my gosh this is horrible why would anyone actually do this for only 300 cooking xp and that's with the boosted rates yay we got butter all right wise old man i've got your 15 pieces of meat what kind of rewards does he get dude i mean it's 40 league points which is nice but really an onion seed and a tomato seed wow Thanks, bud. Time to get our first Slayer task here from Vanica. 112 Chaos Druids. That's a really weird task, but it's actually kind of nice because I'll be able to stack up some herbs for herb lore, and there are a lot of tasks related to herb lore. So, yeah, I think this is... Wait, where can I even kill Chaos Druids with my areas? Wait a second, what? Wait, can I even enter this dungeon here? No, I don't have Wilderness. Wait, what? Yeah, so I can get I can get to some Chaos Druids, but they're either in the Yanil Agility Dungeon, which requires 40 Agility to get over to them, or I have to get like 49 Thieving to enter the Chaos Druid Tower. So I guess I'm just going to do Agility. I need the task for doing 10 Varrock Labs anyways, so uh, yeah, let's do some Agility. Actually, wait a minute. We're only 7 tasks off of our next area unlock, so if I just choose Asgard, is my next area we will actually be able to kill the chaos druids in the taverly dungeon so i'm still going to finish the 10 laps at varrock but uh yeah i think we'll just do that that makes it a lot easier plus i've been really wanting asgarnia because my mining and smithing levels are so sad i just do not want to mine until i have a better pickaxe the bronze pickaxe is like eight or nine ticks per roll Wait, now that I think about it, actually, if I three tick, I think I could still get rolls every three ticks. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. I kind of want to go as Garnia next. Oh, we're finally free from, in my opinion, the worst agility course in the game. Like, seriously, I would rather do anything than the Verant course. Literally anything. Somebody explain to me why that task is 40 points. I just filled the crate with bananas. That was so much easier than everything else I've been doing for 10 points. This task should actually be pretty easy. I just went ahead and hunted some spined larupias. You know, that was a 40-point task on its own. And then equipping a full set is also a 40-point task, which is pretty quick. I like it. First try, the game is just too easy. There's a pineapple pizza for 40 points. We're just two tasks off of the next area. Oh, I'm so excited. Fire sale coming in clutch once again, allowing me to buy a bunch of jugs of water and grapes. There we go, ferment 100 jugs of wine. Also, we just got a 200k XP cooking drop. That was pretty cool. Uh, this could be a decent method for leveling cooking if you want, but trust me, the method I have in store is so disgustingly good. You, you might cry tears of joy when you see it. Just wait, it's coming. Okay, I want my last task to unlock the next area to be special. So we need to kill three chickens in under six seconds. Let's see if we could do it. Come on. Come on, Bo, don't fail me. I hit ones and twos. Oh, wait, wait, we could still clutch this out. Oh my god, nobody attack these chickens. Stop it. I'm going for a leagues task. Was that six seconds? Or did I screw it up? Please. Yes! Three chickens in six seconds. Probably one of the most proud accomplishments in my life, but we don't need to talk about that. Let's unlock a new area. And since I'm not stressing, I'm just having fun. We're going straight to Asgarnia. No stress. No worrying about my decisions. We're going straight to Asgarnia. And that means the last area unlock is desert. Since I really do want to do TOA, get Masori, Lightbearer, and stuff for my range setup. It's going to be so fun. 160 more tasks until we can unlock the next area. That is a lot. 
But now that we have two extra areas unlocked, I feel like it's just opened up so much for us to do. Oh, I want to go do my Slayer task, but it's so out of the way. No, it's not. There's a tool leprechaun right here, like literally a 12 steps away from the Taverly dungeon. Ah, oh, this game is just too much fun, dude. Seriously, this, this game mode is such a blast. Oh, and there's a task just for entering the Taverly dungeon. And then we're going to run over here to the Chaos Druids. I think I was assigned like a hundred something of them. Which is pretty insane, but I think with the ranged relic, this should not be too difficult. Also, I really need to go buy some ranged armor. I know you can get studded armor in Varrock, and then I can probably work towards doing Dragon Slayer soon to unlock green dehyde at least. But yeah, here we are at the Chaos Druids. Looks like we're the only ones sad enough to actually get this task. Let's see how we do against these guys with our current range setup. It's pretty nice. Our defense is lacking, though. I think I'm actually going to start shooting on long range for a little bit. This should still be two ticks, and we will be able to level up our defense as well. Yeah, that's nice. Look at the chaos druid task already paying off clean a grimy guam task completed <laughs> all right i think 20 defense is good enough for now now i need to focus on getting to higher tier ranged weapons just to increase our dps in general and then we can go back to training defense but just look at the xp bar filling up on the range circle up there every time i get a hit it is so nuts especially when i get a double hit i don't know what my max hit right now is but i'm pretty sure i can hit over 10 damage in one hit even though we're only level yeah i can i can hit a five so technically i could hit 10 at level 28 range this is awesome and there's level 50 combat a 40 point task just passively knocked out of the way thank you very much game and we just hit 750 total which is also a 40 point task and we have obtained bronze rank so real quick i guess i'll explain the way that ranks work this league it used to work that you had to be in the top percentage like x percentage to reach a certain point like dragon the highest tier was the top one percent of players which is a bit of a nightmare so this time instead they have put uh Let's see, how do you check it? Here we go. They have put certain point thresholds to reach the ranks. So you need a whopping 56,000 points to get the dragon. And right now, I just hit the 2,500 point threshold to get the bronze. I'm definitely going to get dragon ranked this league, especially if I'm enjoying it as much as I am right now all the way throughout. Because I need points to buy the rewards for our costume room anyway. So I'm trying to get as many points as I can. Also, I have just found out that Dragon Slayer is auto-completed. I thought I was going to actually have to do this quest, but nope. I do not have to, which means that I can just come straight up here and talk to Scavo here and buy us the green dehyde gear we need, and then I'll be able to go to Edgeville to get the green dehyde body. So we pretty much got the full set already, and I can also buy rune stuff to Alk here if I want. I'll come back and buy some rune gear here pretty soon as well, because I am going to need this. I want to be honest, y'all, this is the first time I have played RuneScape for seven hours straight in a long time and not really noticed that seven hours have gone by. It is pretty nuts. I've I literally got like a four and a half hour log earlier. Now I'm at three hours. It's kind of nuts. This league is a lot more fun than the other ones in my opinion. If you haven't played this yet or if you didn't plan on it, I definitely recommend giving it a go. So far at least, it feels like the task list is so much more balanced. I haven't ever reached the point where I'm like, oh my god, what tasks can I do? I'm gonna have to sit here and grind for hours just to do one or two tasks. Like it has been a really smooth experience. And look at that. We're already almost like a quarter of the way to the next relic. And I've just been chilling. Look at me. I'm just shooting chaos druids with my blowpipe bow you know it's actually awesome also i just realized looking at my levels i think if i activate these prayers yeah there we go there's another 10 point task see what i mean there's just so much stuff you get you just play the game and you do tasks and yeah there's a lot of goofy stuff to do tasks for too but a lot of it feels like it actually matters it's nice i'd also just like to mention i'm getting 44,000 slayer xp per hour with a maple short bow at chaos druids <laughs> that's so awesome just wait till our xp rate is times 16 and we have actually good gear and we're at a creature that can spawn superiors as well that's gonna make it so much better i keep forgetting that i don't need drops like runes i'll pick up the law runes and then i'll look at my inventory and be like wait i have thousands of those in the bank already they just they just don't matter to me at all and there's our first slayer task done there's our task complete one task and check this out we got all the way up to 35 slayer 47 ranged from that task absolutely nuts seriously oh my god we got 75 slayer points from that from vanica <laughs> oh god oh i can't wait till we get duradel nice i was just wood cutting here in draenor and a struggling sapling event came up there's 40 points and also i think i might pick up some of the ashes from these people doing uh fire making here so i can make the serum actually no i don't have mauritania unlocked i can't make the serums never mind ignore this advice send this advice to hell there's a waka canoe for 40 points there's a 80 point task for fletching 100 maple longbows in Canada. I did not know that was 80. I thought that was a solid 40. 
I will take it. All right, check it out. This is one of the reasons I really wanted to train wood cutting and fletching. I can make myself a U short bow, which is a pretty decent upgrade over the maple. It is plus 18 accuracy, which isn't amazing, but I think this can shoot rune arrows and it's a task. So if I could find myself some rune arrows, that's a pretty good upgrade. All right, come on. Collection log slot, zombie piece. Oh, I hate how long this random event takes to end. Maybe one day that'll be in a quality of life poll. And we get the zombie walk emote. Unfortunate. I thought I was going to have to wait until really deep into the league to be able to get this task, but there is a task for killing six cows in 10 seconds. Let's see if we could do it with our uh, U-short bow. Oh, there's someone else killing the cows. I was thinking because there's so many people killing cows, it's going to be difficult, and I just misclicked and messed it up. All right. Yes, I did it. There's 40 points, and I was going to go into the crafting guild to do a couple things, but... um. Yeah, I only have 24 crafting. I don't know what I was thinking. I really should have done this task a long time ago, but let's mix these dyes together and dye this cape orange. There we go. Orange cape. <laughs> task completed. Such a random one, but I really like the ones like this that are just so weird. Gonna knock out two tasks real quick. All we have to do is take out a unicorn. I got a limpert root by killing hobgoblins over by the uh, crafting guild. We'll get the unicorn horn here. Grind it up, mix it in there, and we should get the anti-poison task. Oh, and reach base level 5. I guess herb lore is the last skill I didn't have at 5 yet. And then drink a strength potion is another task. Okay, did any of you know that these cabbages in Draenor Manor are magic cabbages? There's a task, and they also boost your defense level. It might be very, by a very tiny amount, but they do boost your defense level, which is... Uh, that's cool, I guess. And now for the part of the video where I just kill a bunch of things because there's a lot of tasks for killing things. Now, I didn't realize this guy had so much health, so we're just going to drag this clip out. Level 50 range! That's what I'm here to record. Isn't that amazing that I just got level 50 range? <laughs> we killed a necromancer. What is that? Easy task. All right. And the evil chicken dead childhood me would be so proud that I did what he could never do. And there I've defeated the troll. No, I didn't almost die. I don't know why you would say something so mean. And more tasks. We love tasks. Blue dragon dead. Berry dragon bones also good. While there was a medium and an easy task for defeating a dragon. And the medium task for the bones. That means it's 90 points just for taking out a dragon. Also, I wish I could have caught how much prayer XP that was. Because I really want to get protection prayers. It's kind of hard for me with my regions to level prayer because... um. Yeah, all I have is basically pest control. Everything else, I don't have the altar in the Wildy. I don't have the altar in Zaya. I've pretty much just got the POH altar, and I don't even know if I can build that because I don't have access to the Keldegrim store. So uh, prayer is going to be a tough one. And finally, defeat a black dragon, which for some reason is only an easy task. I don't, I don't really get that, but, you know, you do you, Jagex. And I decided to stay to get six blue dragon hides, so I'm going to need to uh, craft a full dehyde set anyways. And along the way, I got this scaly a blue dragon hide which might be what i need can you go away baby blue dragon goodness gracious no one invited you to this party might be what i need for a task there's a task for scraping a blue dragon hide i assume that is for using a knife on the scaly dragon hide to get the dragon scales which i've never done before by the way so let's do this let's scrape it yep and it's an easy task for some reason again these tasks that are way harder than the medium tasks are easies. I don't know why. Two more very simple tasks. Equip steel armor, equip mithril armor. I'm sorry, black armor. And uh, now we just need to wait until we get to, uh, what's it called? To Alcarid so that we can get the rest of the uh, Addy and mithril sets. All right, I got some bone seeds. Let's open it. Oh, he doesn't want it close to him. Okay, he wants us to get away from him before we open the bone seeds. He's scared of these. All right, here we go. Open the bone seeds. We did it. 40 points. Spawn a skeletal mage. What is this animation? Oh, look at him. This was the original Thrall, baby. And since I got 30 defense from blasting those blue dragons, I can wield a wooden shield for a task. And I'm definitely going to keep using this thing because wooden shields are awesome. Finally, after like 10 hours of playing leagues, I have mined 10 tin ore. I hope you're proud of me. I also got a task for mining with a steel pickaxe. Let me show you guys why it's worth it to use tick manipulation. There's like several people on this world trying to mine this iron, and I feel kind of like a dick doing this, but uh, when I tick manipulate, it means that I get the roll to uh, get the iron faster than anyone else, so I'm more likely to get it. But yeah, it might be a little scummy. Some of y'all might not like that, but you know, you got to do what you got to do in leagues. It's a cutthroat competition, y'all. And there is mine 50 iron ore, and now I have a pretty... Uh, interesting plan here so obviously there's a 50 percent chance that your iron ore just turns into nothing when you try to make it into an iron bar however if you have a ring of forging uh it will not do that it will 100 percent of the time turn into an iron bar and we actually have over 34 crafting with the boost so i'm gonna make a ruby ring now where do i get a ruby from that's a great question
And the answer is this gem merchant here, because all shop stocks are just completely filled up all the time, you can just buy all of these. So actually I could if I wanted to, just spam click and keep buying like 10 rubies per tick, which is pretty good if I'm going to make a bunch of jewelry. Obviously I don't plan on doing that at the moment, I just need one, but you know, it's a pretty good tip if you need it. And I've just realized that I don't have a ring mold, and that I won't be able to go over to uh, Alcarid until I unlock the next area, which is a bit of a problem, however I think I have a solution. Okay, I was going to do something wacky, but as it turns out, there's a crafting store in Remington as well that sells all these molds. So yay, we got the molds. We don't actually need to do anything quirky or crafty or anything. So I know what you're thinking. How are you going to enchant this? There's no stores in your region that have cosmic runes. And you make a good point, but actually there's this guy right here, Murky Matt, and he can actually make rings of forging for 250 GP. You might think that's pretty weird, but that's because free to play doesn't have access to, uh, an easy way to get these or something like that. I can't remember actually. Can't free to play enchant ruby rings? I have no idea. Maybe it was for free to play skillers or just skillers in general. I really don't remember. And there's two more tasks. Smith 150 iron arrow tips and smelt an iron bar. Very easy. And now I think I really, really want to go do the quest, the knight's sword, because uh, I can't even imagine how much smithing XP you get from it. And it's going to open up so many tasks for me to do. Okay, I spent like the past five minutes prepping this 100 uncooked red berry pies. Now I know what you're thinking. Shelby. Thurgo's never gonna love you, okay? You can hook him up with all the red berry pies you want, but he'll never kiss you. And I know, okay? I think about that every night, and it haunts me. But what if I got 80 points for cooking 20 red berry pies, and then when I cooked all 100, I will get another 80 points for cooking 100 pies. Also, apparently, the extra ones you get from Production Master do count, because, look, I still have 16 pies left to cook. So I don't actually have to gather all of the fish for the cooking tasks, assuming they actually all cook and don't burn. But, you know, it's still cooking XP, copium, this wasn't a waste of time. What is Thurgo doing out here? He's getting some fresh air, he's working those cheeks, that's what I like to see, my man. You get fit, and there's 10 points for giving Thurgo a red berry pie, too. Look how long he takes, only about 8 seconds, and that man's down the whole pie. God, he's so impressive. So it is a Wednesday, and Old School RuneScape just broke its online player count record. I don't know what to say, man. I love this game. I just think it's one of the most beautiful games ever made. And I also have to say this quest literally took like five minutes because of the insane amount of teleports I have thanks to this dumb item. Let's go see that smithing XP drop. It's going to be awesome. Also, as a reminder, make all of your friends play old school RuneScape. All right, let's get the online player count to 200,000 again. I just want to see that again in my lifetime. Let's see this XP drop. 100,000 smithing XP, and we are now 50 smithing. But for some reason, we're only 32 out of 50 smithing. Like, our levels are lagging behind. It. I think it's because of the level boost. We got too many levels at once. Oh, it's coming up. Okay, it's catching up. There we go. I have been sitting here trying to mine one piece of coal for the past minute. I'm not joking. It's been about a minute and I have not mined this. I know I'm only 32 mining, but man, when they made this game, they really thought, yeah, this is normal. Oh, hey, look at that. Obtain a gem while mining. 10 points. Thank you, game. You're making me feel a lot better about how long it takes to mine coal. It's task time. We love task time. Let's make a steel plate body. There's a task. And then let's make 10 steel bolts, I believe. Please tell me I didn't mess this up. Yeah, another task. We like tasks. Hey, guess what? I ate dinner with my family. I'm a good man. I played some Minecraft with my son. It was a great time. And guess what I did? I fished lobsters and chopped some trees while I was doing that. And there's the task for cook 100 lobsters. I also got the task for catching 100 lobsters, obviously. And if you check the bank real quick, we have over 200 U logs. I'm going to cut 100 of these into you short bows, I think, and then we're going to burn the other 100 and we're going to get a lot of points. Just one problem. We, we don't even have 60 fire making. I don't know why I thought we had 60 fire making, uh, but we don't. So actually what I need to do is I would actually need to go cut some more maples or uh, willows or something and then burn those for a bit it probably wouldn't take that long but i'm not sure if i want to do that right now we'll see i had to pick flax and spin bowstring all myself just like i did back in the day when i was a youngin and now we have everything we it's rude now we have everything that we need to put these together god i love production prodigy look at that nine thousand fletching xp go straight at it a few ticks later nine ten thousand that time oh right it fluctuates because the 25 percent chance to make an extra so if you get really lucky you just get a ton of extra xp and there we go fletch 100 u short bows i forgot the fact that it would uh make me multiple so i didn't actually need all the bowstring but that's okay you know and now uh 
That's a medium task. Now I need to decide, do I really want to get my fire making up to 60 right now? On the quest, the 60 fire maker, we hit 75 wood cutting, which means we can chop a magic log, which I think is a task. So we'll go do that after we get to 60 fire making. It's taken longer than I expected. It feels like such a drag, and I know that in 300 league points, we're going to be increasing our XP multiplier, but this is going to help us get there faster, I think. Copium. Fresh little tip for y'all, if you don't know this already, if you light a fire... Right, hear me out, watch this. You light your first fire, then you run two ticks. Okay, then after that you go three ticks after that fire lights. You can actually light fires the entire way while walking to wherever you're trying to go. Uh, as long as you don't mess it up or the server doesn't lag like that. Yeah, you can actually light your fires while running. It's pretty convenient. Uh, I messed it up. Don't judge me. This is all to say, look at how efficient I am running to the magic tree. There's 60 fire making, and now we can uh, burn our 100 uh, U-logs. And I'm also going to chop one magic log here for a task as well. Okay, I was wrong. There's no task for chopping one magic log. It's for chopping 75 magic logs. Excuse me. Good lord, that was dis. Pickable. Sir, we've got a gear upgrade incoming. Okay, that was cringe. I, so delete that clip, Shelby, and just cut in this part where you sound really professional. 70 fletching, I mean 80 fletching with the boost. We're going to get that here in a second, and we're going to be able to craft ourselves a magic short bow. There it is, level 80. Let's go ahead, craft that. Magic short bow, throw on the bow string, and boom. We got an extra unstrung one and a regular one extra as well. So that's 80 points for fletching it. And then 80 points for equipping it. That is so nice. We're only 150 points away from the next relic. And we have a magic short bow now, which just looks sick. I mean, our gear looks a little embarrassing, but it's still kind of cool. Just realized we had points sitting in the bank. We can light and equip this Harpy Bug Lantern for 40, and we can equip the Spiny Helm for uh, 10? 10? Probably 10? I don't know. I don't do math. There's a Porson of Interest, and yes, I would like to get a Slayer task from you. 64 spiders. I did that just for the uh, task for getting a task from Turi or Spria. 64 spiders kind of sucks, but at least it is a quick task. I guess I'll go try and knock that out. Wow, that was an obscenely quick yet boring task. And look at that, 75 points. So does, do you just get 75 from each Slayer Master? Or do Vanica and Spria give the same? I'm really not sure. All I know is that I did learn something interesting. You can actually get a task from Duradel no matter what your Slayer or combat level is at all. You just literally go straight to Brimhaven and get a task from him, even at level 3. So I'm going to go do that to get that task. 38 Hill Giants. What an interesting task, Duradel. Thank you, buddy. Any second now. Oh, shoot. We actually just got a giant key. That was not expected at all. I was just about to say we got to 40 defense. Um, Cool. We can actually go fight Obor. But what I was going to show is we can now equip full green dragon hide, which gave us 40 points, which was just enough to get up to 4,000 points and unlock our next relic tier. Here we go. This one is an obvious one for me. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be as obvious for everyone else, but I'm choosing treasure seeker. So infernal gathering is cool, but I don't really need it. I already process things interest, uh, instantly, so it doesn't really matter if it instantly cooks it or smiths it for me. I just do a whole inventory at a time, so it doesn't matter. Bloodthirsty kind of just makes Slayer go a bit faster. I don't really care about that too much. Treasure Seeker, though, this is where it's at. Creatures that drop clue scrolls have a 1 in 15 chance of dropping them. This also applies to Impling Jars. Basically, you get a ton of clues from killing things. You get clue geodes and nests and bottles and so on and so forth 10 times more often. All clue scrolls have the lowest number of steps possible for their tiers, and every clue scroll casket will roll the max amount of rewards it can give, which is nuts. As you can see, it lists how many. And then there's a chance that you get a clue casket of the same tier when you open one so if i open an easy clue there's a chance that i get another easy casket from it so uh yeah it's pretty nice there's also a chance for it to be upgraded blah -de blah -de blah let's confirm it i'm getting treasure secret i'm really excited to start doing some clue scrolls plus i didn't even look at it the passive effect our xp multiplier has gone from 8x to 12x and mini game points are boosted by 5x so it might be worth starting to do some mini games uh and the xp boost is going to be noticeable pretty quick probably I'm just so excited, man. We actually got to the fifth tier of relics. And now, as you can see, it is 3,500 points until the next relic. It's probably going to be a little while till we get there. Okay, I just got another giant key. That's making me wonder, are giant key drop rates buffed with the uh, triple multiplier? Also, we just got cosmic runes. That's so nice. There's some tasks for enchanting certain items, I think. And uh, that's going to help a lot. Also, right now, it seems like all the Slayer Masters are giving me the exact same amount of points. Like, 75 points. So... I don't know if everyone has the same block list or if maybe or same slayer task list or maybe that's just until you actually get the level to get a task. So I think our fastest way to grab a task is actually going to be going to the gnome stronghold and getting it from Steve. 
uh, because it is going to be Steve, because unfortunately Dragon Slayer 2 is auto-completed, so we didn't even get a single chance to see the beautiful... Neve? Neve? Oh, it's just Steve. Oh boy, 66 trolls. That's going to be really hard for me right now. These things hit like a truck, and I don't really know if there's a safe spot for them. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and skip this, and that's the nice thing, is I'm actually going to be able to just cancel whatever tasks I want. Look at this! You were undertaking this task alone. You could choose to slay Jad. I can get a Jad task? Um, I would really love to get that. The only problem with it is that I don't have prayer potions, and I really don't want to flick. Plus, I don't even have the prayer levels to use protection prayers, so we're unfortunately going to have to just go with Czar, which is actually a really good task because there are a bunch, a bunch of league points you can get by equipping stuff that drop from Czar. So I guess we could go kill them. So I built myself a little clockmaker's bench here. We're going to make four clockworks. I think you might have to reclick it every time you want to make it. Yeah. And that is because we are starting birdhouse runs, something I probably should have done like within the first few hours of league starting, but birdhouse runs are going to let me level my hunter passively and get me a couple times tasks which will be really nice and do i have a high enough level to make this yes the oak larder there is another medium task knocked out just while we're hanging out in here and speaking of which there's so many tasks to do with construction that are pretty easy that uh, i think in the near future once i unlock nature runes and i can get infinite cash i'm going to work on leveling construction aggressively so another interesting use of this uh bankers not bankers no fire sale is that look at this i can actually buy unlimited uncut sapphires from the shop in falador if you go desert i think the shop in alcarid actually sells rubies so it's even better but yeah by spam clicking this for a little bit i will be able to get an insane amount of crafting xp bank so i think i'm going to do this to get a couple tasks knocked out but i'm going to wait for the big crafting grind until we get to the desert because the rubies just give so much more xp okay i want to show you the true power of this method all right look at this you gotta you gotta get a foot pedal right so you get one foot on the foot pedal and then you do two hands on the mouse all right look at this you can actually buy 10 per game tick it might hurt a little bit but listen you could buy 1000 gems per minute it's definitely worth the pain okay my fingers hurt a little bit but i just went ahead and bought three thousand uncut sapphires let's cut all of these and see what we end up with xp wise i'm actually really excited for this it should actually get us almost 2 million xp if my calculations are correct actually more than that because we'll get a 25 percent chance to make extra yeah look at this we just hit 1k total uh each inventory we are getting several level ups right now oh my god why did i not do this earlier this is insane look at how nuts this is we just hit level 80 crafting already i've been doing this for like a couple minutes uh, and we're almost through all of the sapphires. That is just insane. I really wish I'd done this earlier. Seriously, if you have similar uh, setup to me, don't make this mistake. Do this earlier. There are so many tasks I can do now thanks to my crafting level. It is actually absurd. Plus, all of the level up tasks like achieve your first level 70, 80. I could probably go straight to 99 if I wanted right now, and it would take me under an hour. And that would just give me an insane amount of points. And I very well might do that, but I think I might just hold off until I unlock Alcarid because... I don't know. Maybe I should do it. I really don't know. I can't really weigh the pros and cons like some other people can. But uh, yeah, 81 crafting. We can make Zenite jewelry now after just like five minutes or something. Well, first crazy task that we're going to be able to get is for blowing 100 light orbs, which we can do because, you know, production master's OP. There we go. Blow 100 light orbs 200 points there is craft 100 unpowered orbs which is just i mean it's just free here is craft a ruby amulet another 40 points and things are about to get a little bit spicy we are getting ourselves an onyx my friend so what we're going to be doing is selling these chaos runes that i bought from the normal shop for free for Tockle until we can afford ourselves an uncut onyx, which costs like 140,000 Tockle or something. It really shouldn't take that long. And we have unlimited chaos runes, so we could do this as many times as we want, which means we can get all of our onyxes for the Zenites as well, just like this. Okay, I really wish I hadn't done this because my hand and my leg hurt so bad from pushing down on this. But we got 1.5 million Tockle. Oh my Jesus, why did I do that? Okay, we're good. Uh, and we're going to get all four of our onyxes or i mean all five of our onyxes sorry oh purchase an onyx that's an elite task i actually had no idea that's 200 points um sweet there's another 200 points and there's all five onyxes we're gonna need for the entire league why did i do this all at once and i've just realized i don't have any more gold bars so we're gonna have to power level our mining up to 40 so we can mine some gold ore oh my hand just wants to rest but real quick before we do that let's get our chisel out and let's chisel all of these uncut onyxes because it's going to feel so good how much xp are we getting for these Twelve thousand, not a lot oh but we actually got an extra onyx which means maybe i didn't have to buy all five 
Oh, well. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Look, I get the nerd no lifer three spot iron on Fossil Island all to myself. Oh, what a glorious day. And I can even bank some inventories of this iron by using my crystal of memories, which is just great, which then does go on a three minute cooldown. But for those three minutes, I could just drop the iron. It's not a big deal. Oh, obtain a clue geode while mining is 40. A bird nest from woodcutting is 10, but a clue geode is 40. I mean, I'll take it. I like I like points, but still. Oh, and then we get another 40 for mining some ore with a rune pickaxe. See, I, it's just everything just, it just starts falling into place and it starts landsliding the amount of points you get just while going for things, especially with this 12x XP rate. And look at this, two beginner clue geodes. I feel like we're just going to get so many clue scrolls. Actually, that's one of the things I want to do next is uh, actually start doing some of these clue scrolls, see if we can finish them and see how many items we can get. All right, here we go. Some big money tasks right here. Craft an emerald ring for 40 points and then craft an onyx amulet for another 200 points we just got to iron rank oh look at that that's 5,000 point threshold let's go we're looking so good right now just 5,000 points away from steel you know if we got 5,000 points so far today we can get another 5,000 not a big deal and i really want to be able to enchant this thing we need level 87 magic and then we have an amulet of fury so we really got to start working on magic i need to just stop being lazy get this up to 66 so we can get to the magic guild unlock infinite nature runes and just cast high elk everywhere i go all right it's clue scroll time i want to try doing some clues let's bust out an easy a medium and a beginner hopefully this is not these this is exactly what i was worried about these steps are going to be so annoying where i have to run around the game and buy stuff pray to god i can even get the items in my region they did say on twitter that they were considering taking out steps that you cannot physically do in your region because of item restrictions but i think most of them you can do so we don't have to be too worried about that i think the coolest benefit of the clue relic is that the clues get completed in their least amount of steps which means the beginners should always finish in one step which is so cool what do you want charlie a raw trout god you're so needy okay all four of these beginner clues have just been charlie the tramp like i am is charlie the tramp the only beginner clue step I can do I know for a fact I'm pretty sure I can get the strange device and do those steps maybe it's just maybe I'm just getting lucky I'm not even joking I just got three beginners back to back that were all this dig spot it was the most beautiful thing I think I've ever experienced in my entire life it's finally time to drag our butts over to the ranging guild get that 40 point task and then somebody here sells leather chaps and leather body yeah it's this guy right here we love this guy because he means he means business he's basically saying that i never have to craft anything for these stupid charlie the tramp steps which is awesome and another thing i've noticed is i've gotten so many beginner clues since i got that clue relic just from doing the mining grind i'll probably never actually have to grind for any clues except for like i'm probably medium and up i will actually have to kill creatures for but everything else will just come passively first weird grind for an item for a clue scroll i need a chef's hat for beginner clues so i'm actually killing goblins here in lumbridge to get them and they actually have a chance to drop beginner and easy clue scrolls so it's actually kind of nice look at that there's another easy clue i've already gotten two of them from these guys oh no way an air talisman i actually needed one of these so bad i didn't know how to grind for it i was trying to kill those stupid air wizards but i was just not getting the drop and there we go we just get it from a level two goblin nice and we got the chef's hat which i don't have inventory space for uh drop the iron ore this is like the most important thing that i've ever gotten oh now that we have a chef hat we can actually go into the cook's guild as well which is another task and we finished all the beginner caskets we have let's just go ahead and blast through them because there's really nothing from these that i want to keep i'm pretty sure so hey there's a monk's robe tea collection log slot and i like that we get three rolls every single clow oh my god double unique monk's robe tea and sandwich lady hat actually i'm gonna go look at the uh whatever it's called the tasks and make sure that i don't need to keep any of this keep the wizard hat for a task but everything else is pretty much useless let's keep opening let's see if we can get anything oh my gosh wait i wasn't even noticing this your treasure seeker really gives you a bonus reward casket beginner i'm actually getting rebates as we're going along oh wait that's actually good that is actually good let's get rid of the sandwich lady hat the trimmed amulet where is it amulet of defense trimmed i know that that's a task yep medium task equip a trimmed amulet we also just got the 15 collection logs task we're getting so so many tax and points from this i'm honestly astonished there's a jester cape let's just keep on going a rune scimitar ornament kit oh my gosh i know that it's triple rates but still it just feels absolutely amazing blasting through these and getting so many uniques and also look we just keep getting reward caskets back mole slippers anything for the last one another jester cape so wow 
we just got a ton of tasks. I can't even begin to count all of them. And uh, we actually opened 20 caskets when I think we only had 11 to begin with. So it must be almost a 50% chance to give you a casket rebate for beginners. I know that the chance is higher the lower the tier of casket is, but uh, wow. That was fun. See, this is the kind of thing that I could see them overlooking that kind of sucks, though, is that like this step right here uh, where you have to search the bucket in the Port Serum jail. It seems like, okay, yeah, you have Port Serum unlocked. You can get here. But actually to get here, you have to talk to Shanty and be sent here. Like maybe you can pick lock the door, actually. Am I wrong? I don't know if I can get a lock pick right now. Yeah, you simply cannot find a way to pick the lock from the side. So you have to have Alcrid unlocked to do this step, which isn't a big deal because I'm going to unlock Alcrid, but it sucks that I actually have to drop a clue scroll when we were supposed to be able to do all the steps so uh complaining over all right i finished all of our easy clues and somehow we managed to get another beginner clue while wood cutting to get planks for the easy stash unit so anyways the beginner clue has nothing but we did get a wait what how do we just get a task for 30 collection log slots when well one we only have 10 collection log slots and we didn't even get anything from that beginner clue all right spaghetti code aside oh we got another beginner clue from that too apparently i didn't even see oh i do see that in the chat anyways beginner clue again this one also had nothing and now the easy clues which are going to be so juicy right right there we go there's a unique the bronze plate body and oh there's our first rebate another easy casket and we got fire lighters which is actually great because there is a task for uh lighting a fire that's been fire lighted so let's do it i think you just like put the green on the logs look we have green logs you guys have been harassing me about getting more green logs on my collection log account so here you go we've got the green logs finally all right all jokes aside i cannot wait for this i haven't done this since i was like 10 years old or something like that let's do it let's light a green fire and feel like the swaggiest dude ever oh yeah like i don't i don't even understand understand why I have this step. I can't go in the wilderness. I'm never going to be able to talk to the Dark Mage. All right, the J-Mods the J messed something up. I hope they fix it in the next week because if I'm going to have to deal with this stuff through all my clues, it is not going to be fun to do the higher tiers of clues. Time for our first birdhouse run. I'm so excited. Let's see the XP from the Teak birdhouses. Let's see what kind of XP we're getting. And... 8400 hunter xp wow that is uh that's pretty good and i think we need to get up to 44 hunter to be able to do uh maple bird houses which is why i brought them along with us so if we get to 44 we can swap over to these so i was riding in the car and i uh, decided to afk some wood cutting and fletching arrow shafts and uh yeah there's our first level 70 skill 70 wood cutting <laughs> it got a little out of hand as you can see, I was in there for a while. But hey, it's really good. It means we got a bunch of banked fletching XP, basically. We're only five levels off from being able to chop magic trees. And there's a lot of woodcutting tasks that I kind of want to get out of the way now. So uh, let's do it. And there is burn 100 U logs. Also, that last clip was the end of my first day. So that's all we accomplished on the first day. I think we did pretty good. Uh, also, just saying, I AFK'd some fishing this morning. Got up to 75 at Barb. And that also means that we got some agility and strength levels, which is pretty good. I don't know what I want to do today. I definitely want to unlock the next relic tier because I believe that gives us something good. Oh yeah, that's going to give us a really good relic and it'll make item drop rates buff up to four times as common. So we definitely want to strive to get that soon. There's a super easy task here for just chopping a silicet mushroom. I think it's like a one in 100 from chopping the silicet tree here. So hopefully we get lucky and it doesn't take too long. I'll also activate this tree here, which will be nice. So I'm actually starting to get worried that it's glitched. I've chopped this a ton of times and I have not gotten even a single regular mushroom, which are insanely common while chopping this tree. So uh, yeah, I might chop for another minute or two, but I don't even know if it's possible to finish this task right now. I remember in the last league, there was a certain relic you could put on that would disrupt getting the mushrooms from this tree, but... I'm just going to throw in a bug report and hope someone, someone fixes it, man. Wow, finally we actually did the Demon Slayer quest. That's 40 points and it was so easy. Don't wait this long to do it. Don't be silly. So I've been struggling thinking about how to level up early farming. And I just remembered that you can get these bagged plants from Falador. And look at that. It's actually 1,200 farming XP per plant, which is pretty good. Uh, it's not going to be very good once I get to a decent level and I can actually do like trees and things of the sort. But for now, I think I'm just going to use maybe a couple hundred of these to get a nice boost so I can actually start planting stuff that doesn't completely suck. And look at that. In just like five or ten minutes, we're up to 51 farming. And of course, it gives the same amount of construction XP. So it's leveled us up in that as well. And I think this is where I'm going to end off for 
that because I don't I don't know. I don't really see a point in just sitting here grinding it for hours and hours on end at the moment. Okay. I did it. I just bought 14,000 sapphires. I'm going to be honest. I feel unwell after spam clicking for like 20 minutes. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to chillax. I'm going to cut all 14,000 of these sapphires. And the reason behind that is I kind of just, I, I don't know, I just don't like banking at the Grand Exchange. It just, it just feels wrong to me, so I just want to get it over with. I want to get 99 crafting, and I should be able to get it with these 14,000 sapphires if my math is correct, so uh, wish me luck. So we obviously knew the XP was going to be nutty here, but there is already 90 crafting, and look at that, we're getting almost 19.5 million xp per hour pretty decent i guess that's okay so we'll be at 99 in uh, 30 minutes or so i think here we go our first level 95 rocking us a clean 200 points thank you game so we used all the sapphires and we still need 10,000 xp <sighs> the game is truly evil and honestly hates me with all of its heart but that's okay i'll buy one more inventory of sapphires let's craft them bada bing bada boom level 99 crafting our first 99 of the league and now we can happily head to the crafting guild get that cape and have infinite teleports to a super close bank and also maybe just maybe they'll remove the niles random event from the game that nothing would make me happier it's so useless hello master crafter i love that they didn't even give this dude a name they're just like he's just the master crafter all right that's fine Ninety nine thousand gold well worth it skill cape hood on the ground crafting teleport acquired i've never seen this cape untrimmed like in my entire life it's kind of weird looking i kind of don't like it and can we use the bank chest normally you need the fallot or hard but yeah you can use it as long as you've got 99 crafting so basically we win the leagues is over well i'm just doing the czar task here i've got the slay 250 creatures test this is so slow i'm actually considering going and skipping this i know that they do have the drops that have tasks associated with them but it is just so unbelievably boring right now i might stay for a little bit longer the xp isn't horrible but it's not great either okay you know what i've just realized all of these drops from czar that i need to equip for tasks are actually sold at the store inside the inferno city so this is actually completely pointless doing this task i'm just gonna go ahead and skip it and never do a czar task until i can do jad then i might do all my jad tasks because it would be kind of fun to get the jad pet and there is a task for getting a boss pet anyway so we'll think about it hey there's 1250 total right there very very nice that is a cool milestone and the free 40 points of course uh yeah i think i'm gonna just try to finish this fire giants task i keep getting tasks that are extremely long but i think this one's probably not a bad idea to just pull through on we passed 55 slayer which means we now have the chance to get blood velds which is an amazing task especially with the one in 50 superior rate and the higher range level i get the better my hits will be i really want to get a rune crossbow soon i think that'll be super beneficial but i also have no idea how i'm going to get enough bolts to actually use it so i'll have to do some brainstorming about that oh yes i was really hoping i'd get this drop this actually seems kind of like worthless but check this out when we equip this we get a task equip an elemental battle staff or mystic staff very nice 40 points thank you very much fire giants and we also just got a rune scimitar which again doesn't seem like much but actually from beginner clues it's extremely common to get unique so if i can get another rune scimitar ornament kit and attach it to this i believe that's a medium or a hard task so that's just three points i really wish i'd thought of that and kept the rune scimitar ornament kit we've already gotten but you know it is what it is let's do some mahogany homes i haven't done this in so long and i'm excited to see the xp drops at the end of these but there are a lot of tasks having to do with mahogany homes uh, let's start off with the lowest tier of contract, the beginner one, because there is a task for doing a beginner task. So south of the church and east already, I can do that. All right, let's see the XP drop from the worst type of contract, 6,000 XP, and that's a 40 point, 40 point task right there. Let's go do the uh, next tier up, because we can make oak antique planks, and we got over 50 construction already. All right, time for the tier two contract. I don't remember what it's called. That is 15,000 XP and another 40 points. I love this. I, this is another one that y'all can knock out real easy if you were dumb like me and you chose this region because it's just stupid fun. All right, let's do the tier three contract. I cannot wait to see the reward from this one. All right, tier three contract done. Let's see, 27,000 XP and another 40 points. 
Also worth mentioning, the uh, minigame point multiplier works with this, so you just get an insane amount of points per task. It's great. And so I think this is where I'm going to end the first video off here. I've had a lot of fun playing Trailblazer Reloaded so far. I think this is my favorite league so far. It's the most fun I've had, and I'm not really feeling burnt out, probably because I actually chose a path that I wanted to, and I wasn't trying to be competitive or try too hard. I'm just enjoying myself and going for as many points as we can get. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can press all the funny buttons that the algorithm likes, leave a snarky comment, probably one telling me that I should have picked Trickster. I know how much everyone's going to love Trickster, and that's okay. I respect that choice. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next one where we're going to try out Soul Wars, which, let me turn off Entity Hider, is pretty popular right now. I'm guessing the reward crates are pretty nice, plus five times boosted reward points. Probably makes it quite easy to get it. I'll see you all then. Goodbye.